and now the body can heal. The toe is slightly warm and I don't want to give you any antibiotics for now because I think we can heal this naturally now that it's being exposed properly. You got a nice red toe. You got some red paint here. Yeah. <laughs> and another little blister that formed a little... On the top here, yeah. yeah. We're going we're gonna to get it. Anything that's yeah. lifted today, I'm going to remove. Okay. Yeah, So we're gonna to continue to scrape down the dead skin. Again, this spot has not been hurting you at all, though. So you're still riding, though. You said. Yeah, I still ride. I go the weekends with my daughter. And you're not feeling discomfort in the in the boot. Yeah, comfortable. Perfect. Okay. I can't, it's been a while. How, how did this first start again? It just popped up, right? Uh, no, I think uh, I, I hit something, you know, kicked something with uh, okay. without my shoes on. And a slight blister formed. Yes. And I, of course, you know, usually, you know, it's okay, it's okay. And then slightly infected, and then from there it went on, you know. Okay, so I just want to, we always have to make sure that there's no trauma. So. I know riding, I, I, I guess the boot can put a lot of pressure, but this never really happened from riding before. No, no, no. Okay. So more trauma related. Yeah. I think I was picking up something and I dropped it in my foot or I kicked something. Because but when I'm, even when I'm working out in this table and I'm mucking out the yard, we have to use our special boots and mucking boots. Or, and it's a steel toe, you know? Yes. Because it's just stopping to run. But you've you've I had your. I I got my foot gone. <laughs> and the hospital never hit it. I'm sure you've had your your share of being stepped on. Let me say that again. How much does it hurt? No, no, I think so. No, no. When you get stepped on. Oh my goodness! I had I, I couldn't push him off me because you got 500 plus kilos on top of your leg. Oh my god! And I had to have someone just push me. He refused to budge. Oh. I had to give him. I had to give him an elbow in the gut to make him get off me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then he, then he gives me a dirty look, hey, why'd you do that for? I said, hey, why'd you do that with the foot in my foot? <laughs> but they, they really are amazing animals, huh? Yeah, it's just an accident, you know, just my yes, yes. I just, you know, I just, I didn't have my bucking my boots on, I had my racing boots, and this was after the race, you know. I was taking my saddle off. Yeah, I guess you always have to be careful with your feet. So a lot. Yeah, I tore my boots off completely, you know. Really? Yeah, because when it, uh, racing boots are very fine, very thin, except for the uh, for the sole, you know. But a racing boot is hardly uh, well. I would say not even uh, two hundred grams. Oh. Yeah, very light. Everything you wear is light, right? You have to be because the lighter we have, things like, the heaviest thing in us is the body protection. <laughs> and we're given us, uh, we're given us, they give us a half a kilo. That's the heaviest part of the body protector. Do you, do you still ride fast sometimes? I have been out to Woodbine, but I ride out in the barn with my daughter. And, and do you go fast still? Yeah, yeah. And how is it? Amazing? Oh, lovely. I enjoy it. I look forward to it. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm at home when I'm on their back. What's been happening now with uh, COVID and, and racing? Everything's shut down. No, no, the racing, the racing is started off at Woodbine. It started? Yeah, the racing full <laughs> time in uh, all, almost all parts of America. And uh, in the UK, they are, they're, they're, they're racing every day. So it's good for the sport. Yeah. Oh, the English love their horses. That's and a big thing. You have about, you, in England, you have about uh, approximately 26 race tracks. Of the 26, you have about uh, 10 or 12 jumping tracks, which are dual, you know. Mm -hmm. You have the, uh, the, the hurdling and as well as flat racing. And your five major, uh, five major tracks in the UK are super. Lovely race tracks. A day at the races, that's a big deal, huh? Uh, this gets... weekend, we've got a lovely racing at Royal Ascot. Beautiful racing at Royal Ascot. The Royal Ascot Festival, it comes up on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
marvelous racing. And do you still watch races there? Yeah, I do watch. I put up a little bit now and again. Put a few foot up. And how, how do you pick your bet? Do you, do you know the racer? Do you know yeah, the yeah, horse? Yeah, I, I follow the phone. Yeah. I follow the phone. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I know more or less all the, uh, the fossil racing in, 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 in the UK. Wow. Especially all the group one, group two, and group three races. The handicap races are a bit difficult. But the, you know, the group one, group two, and group three, you know exactly what the form is like. Now, how how is racing now compared to when you were racing? What's the time uh, like? I, I still say I still say the, the best racing is in Europe. It is, huh? Yeah, the best racing. It's it's always been at a very high standard, and you get the best of the cream of the law, you know, coming from all over Europe, and especially the three major centers, two major centers. That is uh, Ireland, France. And they all land up in England, even, even America takes the horses down there. Now, there are some uh, American horses raced yesterday, and some American horses racing today. But they really can't compete? Oh, yes. You get some coming up in Japan, too. Oh, wow. You get the stake money is good. I mean, you get to win, especially one of them, if you get a male horse to be, to be a stallion. And he wins one of these uh, group one, group two races there. Your stud value goes up straight away, and the same goes to a mare, a female. Your stud value goes so right up. So that's big money. Oh yeah. Now, how, how, what do you mean when you get a stallion? I, I don't know much about. I horse. mean uh, the male horse. Like, yes. You know, it gets to win all the major events uh, in the racing calendar in, in the whole of Europe, and maybe go down to. Uh, come up to, in, uh, to to the U.S. and ride uh, over, over, running the Breeders' Cup, mm, okay, Breeders yeah. Cup weekend, and then you get to go down to uh, what do you call it uh, to Australia and run in the major races, the Melbourne Cup. You finish in the first four over there is boosting up your stud value. Wow! So and when you go to cover a brood van, I say, then you say, hey, my 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 stallion, he's won X amount of races, X amount of stake money. He's competed with the best all over the world. So this covering, this covering, this covering charges alone, you won't believe it. What? How, nothing how in less, nothing less than fifty thousand. So that's the, that's the lower end. And so now they will breed that horse yeah, for a lot of money. Oh my and god! And they won't race him till they won't they won't burn him up. They'll race him oh till the horse is six to seven. Off he go. Oh my gosh! They're pimping the horses. Yeah, they don't want to. <laughs> they, they don't want to lose their uh, uh, their form. Wow. Once you get beat or finish second or third, your that, value drops. Wow. So you want to go out in glory. That's a lot of, is it a lot of stress for the horse too, to be racing that much, traveling that much? It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of can you see, can the, do the, can you see when the yeah, horses get short? They, they short you when, they, when you're working them in the mornings, you know, when you're exercising them, they, they short you. Wow. Yeah. You know, they lose that zest, they lose that, the sharpness goes, you know. It become a bit lethargic, and that's the time you say, okay, why well, you give it a break now? Wow. So give them a break for at least uh, at least a month, or two at the very most, and then back into 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 work. It's so, like an athlete, you know. You have for to sure, for sure. Keep going. And these the race horses are born athletes. They are born no. to run. Now, when you breed them, is it a one-shot goal they're gonna get? I guarantee you that. Guaranteed. It one shot. One shot. And it'll be good. 101%. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they, they check the semen, they check the brood man. The brood man's about to be in the height of a season. Damn, yeah, they're, they're good. Very technique. Wow. And how much will that cost? To just... just to cover the goal, just to cover the yeah. brood man. I'm just said 50,000. Oh my down. God. Down, and you may go up to maybe 1 million plus. Oh my gosh. And when the baby is born. Yeah. You know, and if it's a filly, if it's a female horse, yeah. You, oh my God! You, when if he's a good, a good horse and good, good confirmation, nothing wrong. This time, his selling price will be nothing less than two point five three. Oh my God! And one went this year when we at the Tata Stall in the UK. He went for ten million. Oh my God! And you, who bought them? Was the Goralfin? The Goralfin? Yes, the yes. Okay, they bought only they had that money. That's unbelievable. 
And they do are they're the best performing, huh? They perform it. Wow. Blood, blood tells. <laughs> so, cleaned up a lot more today. Yes, thank Everything you. looks much better. There's only one part that hasn't closed. So this is fully closed here. We just have one little spot left. Okay. But you can see I got more, yes. much more of the callus yes. off. Yes. If this was fully closed today, I'd say you're good. Yeah. But the fact we have one last spot, what will happen, this will scab. Yeah. We come back, I would say another two months, yeah. remove that last okay. bit of the scab, and then everything else is healed. Sure. The, this part has healed, but it's very thin yeah. and fine. Yeah. So do you have that brown liquid still? Uh, no, I don't have it. What were you, what were you dressing it with? I was just, yeah, that I had uh, with um, wipes. Uh, wipes, okay. Wipes, okay. And uh, and I was putting that uh, fusidin. Okay, what we'll That's do it. then? Okay, we'll, we'll just do a little bit more fusidin, mm -hmm. just since you have that already. Yeah. Um, until that is dry and closed, and then we'll leave it, and then the scab will dry up again, like before when we first came in. Uh, clean it up one more time in around two months, and then I expect everything to be closed. That line that has is very thin will be firmer. I won't even putting a light plaster over it. That's good. When that's I'm fine. Putting my boots yep, on. that's fine. Yeah, it's much, much better. Yeah. Unbelievable. I thought this was going to heal much quicker, yeah. but it was very deep after. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So I'm, I'm very happy that uh, nothing more serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it must have been very infected when you first went. It, it was, yeah. Wow. And I, 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 to be honest, I neglected it. And my wife, you know, being a nurse, go and see her doctor, go and see her. Well, I'm, I'm really happy. And eventually, Dr. Giselle said, if you don't get to go there, I'm going to tight you up and take you there. For sure. I'm very, very happy. Has, has she seen it till recently or no? No, she hasn't. But yeah. I've been sending her photos. But uh, she, she wants to see me next week, next okay. Tuesday. And would she, did, did you talk about that you came in here? Yeah, she was. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's she good. follows up. That's good. That's, she's amazing. Yeah, she really is. Because my wife works for her. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, so yeah, everything looks fine. We're just going to wait for that last part to heal up. Okay? okay. All right.